Okay, under this lesson, we are going to discuss about magnetism and magnets. So there are different, different magnet types. So some are permanent magnets, some are temporary magnets. So anyway, in your day-to-day -day life, you are using magnets in many places. Can you just recall where you have seen the magnets? Magnets are basically attracting magnetic elements. So where have you seen magnets? Yes. Have you seen magnets anywhere? And where have you seen them? Yes. In, yes. in pencil box? In pencil box, yes. For the uh, for this temporary locking and unlocking purpose, the pencil box has a magnet. Anything else that you have seen? Water. Sorry? DC motor. Motor, yes, DC motor. In DC motor, so we are using permanent magnet as well as electromagnets, both permanent and temporary magnets. In DC motor, turbine, we are using that. Anything else? Anywhere else? Yes. DC motor is a correct example, yes. And pencil box is a correct example. Some bags and zippers we are using that. A door locks we are using that magnets and it can be used in compass. Haven't you seen compass? Some screwdriver. Sorry? Some screwdriver. Yes. Screwdrivers. And sometimes we are using screwdrivers, magnets and in screwdrivers. And uh, compass, headings and compass, we are using magnets. Mm, and some uh, weight lifting equipments we are using magnets right so these magnets can be used many uh, places in many places we are using these magnets okay let's let's uh, exp explore the magnetism and magnets in this lesson here you can see in the figure 7.1 so this ring magnet is used to attract the magnetic element this is a file trip so the ring magnet attracts that and you can move the file tip pump and so when file click is Clip is fallen down to the water, you know, it will suck. The reason is the density of this is high, therefore it will move down. So how can we take that back without putting your hand or fingers into water? We can use a magnet. We can use a magnet and lift it up. So then easily we can take this clip out of water without putting your fingers into water, without putting your hand into it. So that is the experiment. Why? Because the magnetic elements attract magnets. Ah, this is one important thing. Have you seen this chessboard? Chessboard, they are using magnets. Right in this, uh, in the back side of this check, uh, the small, so in this back, back side of each uh, of these, you can see small magnet. And the board is also a magnet, so they attract to the board. And they are, this is a, a DC motor and this is a pencil box in all three places you can see magnets are used okay effect of the magnet so basically magnets can attract magnetic elements right magnetic elements okay so now we have some important thing to write down so please write the heading magnets Write down the heading magnets. Magnets can attract. Magnetic elements. towards it. Magnets can attract magnetic elements towards it. List some magnetic elements you can see
either school or your home? So this is a small question. Magnet can attract magnetic elements to a it and so you are asked to list some magnetic elements. Can you tell me? So I'll tell, um, what about blades? Will it attract? Yes, blade. Yes, nail, iron nail. Yes. Iron nail, yes. Okay, so can you list a few more? I'll give you time, don't worry. I'll give you time. So can you list a few more elements? Or send it to the chat, please. Yes. Iron dust. Iron dust. Okay. So yes, uh, some elements that you can see uh, like around you. Elements that you can see around you. E. Sorry. E. Uh, can you send it to the chat? Um, it's not clear to me. Ah, keys. It's keys. But not all keys, some keys, right? Not all keys, some keys. Okay, other things, please send it to the chat, please. few answers i got few answers so nails yes coin uh, that depends like so why iron nail iron dust will attract because iron is a magnetic element for sure whatever made up with iron will attract <coughs> and another thing is so do you know whether uh, this nickel nickel metal is also Nickel metal elements are also attracted into the magnets because nickel is also a magnetic element. And not just that, steel, one steel elements will also attract to this and also cobalt, but cobalt is not much common. Cobalt, so it's also. C A B A L T sorry C B A L T. So if something is made up with cobalt, we'll also be attracted to it. And steel for sure. Iron, iron is the mostly attractable one. So then some earth metals are there. So what about gold? Will it attract to magnets? Gold, silver, aluminium. Will it attract or will it? So will it attract the magnet, aluminum? Okay. Not all the metals uh, side, not all the metals, uh, all the metals are not attracting. Aluminum will not attract. Gold will not attract, right? Silver will not attract. So these will not attract to the, uh, so they are, you can do this experiment and see, right? If you have silver ring, Ball ring can try with a magnet, but it will not attract the magnet. So silver, copper, gold, and aluminium will not attract to the magnets. If you can try with this different metal, different elements or different things made up with these metals, like silver, copper, aluminium, uh, so it will not attract to 
uh, it will not attract to the magnet magnets because those are not magnetic elements. So these iron, nickel, steel, cobalt, ferrite, these are mainly uh, these are mainly steel, right? These are mainly magnetic elements. Okay. So let's move to the book back again. So magnets, we learn where the magnets are there. Okay, here, twins got attracted towards the magnet. We learn what are the elements. Things which uh, did not get attracted towards magnets are that you need to uh, Okay, uh, so please write metals like gold, aluminum, copper, metals like uh, gold, aluminum, copper, Silver, sorry, aluminum, silver, will not attract towards magnets. So basically there are three groups of magnets. So these three groups are, so one you can say permanent magnet. The magnetism will be lasting for long, year long, so maybe a lot of years, permanent. And there are temporary. So what you said about the magnetizing uh, these uh, screwdrivers, that is temporary and it can be electromagnet. When electricity is provided, so electromagnets like, can be produced. When once electricity is there, the electromagnets can be so it can be permanent, lasting for a long time, temporarily lasting for few, maybe few moments or maybe few hours or maybe few days even. But electromagnets, whenever you provide power, it will right, it will show its magnetic properties. Please write down this as well. So which is more powerful magnet? Is it iron magnet or ferrite? Yeah, plastic like materials will never attract to that. That is for the previous question. I was talking about metals actually. Plastic is not a metal, but anyway, plastic is also correct. It's not attracting to us. So can you tell me which is more powerful? Is it iron magnet or ferrite? Ferrite. Ferrite one is more powerful than iron magnets, right? Iron magnets are there, but uh, so mostly you can see. So the concentration of the power will be scattered around. Uh, it is there in the North Pole and South Pole. We'll learn what are these North Poles and South Poles. concentration. But uh, when it comes to the ferrite magnet, so it is also same, but the thing is it is more powerful than normal iron magnet. Okay, so then, so these are different type of magnets. Horseshoe, so this is like a U magnet, but uh, there's a special uh, thing like in the, unlike the U magnet, the distance is basically these two, uh, two poles are going parallel in U magnet, but in the horseshoe magnet, so it's not parallel, it's getting closer when it comes to the edges, that is horseshoe magnet. And then the bar magnet, that is one of the most common types that you can see in your um, in your school lab. And there are ring magnets and tabular magnets, like it's like a tablet. So these are some other magnet types that you can see based on a shape. But uh, so there can be arbitrary shapes magnets also. So the shape is not definite. It's arbitrary that that can be either magnetic material 
or it is can it can be a Brogan magnet, right? So then it is difficult to mark the North Pole and South Pole. But anyway, so basically in this, basically in all these magnets, you can mark the North Pole and South Pole. Okay, so what are these magnetic poles? Magnetic poles, so to check that you can do small experiment, either you can use iron dust or you can use uh, earth metals, right, earth metals. So to collect earth metals, you can do the same uh, similar activity. You can use a bar magnet or any ferrite magnet or ring or any other magnet. And better if it is a bar magnet. And you can uh, cover that using a paper, right? Cover that using a paper and just slowly rub against some sand, which you can see in the outside garden or somewhere, right? So then you can collect these earth metals, right? Let me show. So to do that, actually, you can use a small experiment like this can be done. Okay, this is actually showing the magnetic field around. So you can see the concentration. So the North Pole, higher concentration. And also in the South Pole, you can see higher concentration. But in other, other areas, you will not be able to see that kind of concentration. So these lines are showing the concentration. So this, oh, he, here in the U magnet also, you can see the both North Pole and South Pole, there is a higher concentration. And these are actually, you can use iron dust for earth metals. Here also, you can this, see the concentration is around North and South Pole. But uh, don't expose the magnet directly to the earth metals like this. So then it is difficult to actually, so you have to detach that now. So that will be difficult. What you need to do is, First, you need to cover the magnet. First, you need to cover the magnet using a paper, piece of paper. You can cover the magnet. Let me show uh, that is not there in the book. Mm -hmm. Right, anyway, so I'll explain the process. So I was searching with this, why it is not there in. Mm, okay, earth metals. Search like this. Okay. Yeah, this is another way of like uh, doing but if you use like this uh, you will end up with uh, getting uh, all these uh, metals attract to the magnet so therefore what you can what you have to do is uh, basically um, without directly exposing so is there any anything no not here but you can you can basically do like this first of all cover the magnet using a paper that won't uh, kill the magnetic field, right? That won't affect the magnetic field. So the paper, I mean, the paper, what I have done, I magnet take a water it out and on. On that, now the magnet take a, after the shopping bag, it will get a garden up full. Hari, it will be done. Hundred year, a paper, a paper, a paper bag, it will hari. I am done a garden. It will pass. After doing that, 
So what you need to do is you have to do the same. Move this. Move this here and there in the sand. Then all the magnetic sand materials, magnetic sand in the uh, in the magnetic sand that you have, like uh, these things, will attract to the magnet. When you move this here and there, it will attract to the magnet. But due to the, since there is a paper, it will not directly attract to the magnet. When you remove the paper, you can collect these magnetic materials into a paper. So I'll create a practical and show it to you, right? I'll create a practical and show it to you if it is unclear. I think you have done this practical at home sometimes. If not, let me... If not, let me explain you by uh, recording a practical because I wanted to find something, but uh, unfortunately, it's not available. It's showing the direct exposing, right? Ah, here, here is, is another one. Right, this is actually to test the magnetic field, right? Okay, so let's move into the book. Magnetic poles. Magnetic poles means these edges. These are edges actually. Edges of the corners. May magnetic corner edges. Eva getama very concentration. So higher concentration of the magnetic power will be there in the in these poles. So to get that. So this is one thing, spread uh, file clips. Uh, file clips we couldn't write there, right? File clips are also. File clips, if it is iron or steel. So it should be iron, steel. So this will attract, right? Okay, spread file clips evenly, uh, the piece of the show then. Slowly lower the magnet towards the piece of the cardboard. Now observe what happened to the. Uh, now observe and see. It's here. So when you put the fire clips and when you move this uh, magnet towards the fire clips, you can see it will basically attract into these two edges, not to the middle. So what happened if this magnet is uh, like uh, broken down into two parts? Then what will happen? Right, if you break this magnet into two, then what will happen? Yes. So what, what will be this edge? Let's say I'm going to cut the magnet or I'm going to break the magnet into two, two halves from here. So then uh, will it be south or north? Will it be north or south? Yes. So what do you think? Me magnet ka dekha ta khadu hoti. Me petta mukak pei the, me petta mukak pei. Yes. 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 Any idea? Haven't you experienced that? Yes. After dividing magnet into two pieces, what will happen to the poles? No sound. So why you are not talking? Karlanand, Karandipa school magnet children and dekha Karandipa. Hari. So bar magnet. So when you uh, broken into two pieces, what will happen to the pole location? Right. So what will happen to the pole location when you broke? Uh, when you break this down into two. So see here. Since they are a North Pole, the remaining edge will be acting as a South Pole. Since this is the South Pole, the uh, edge here will appear in as the North Pole. Here, when you break down this, North and the other pole will become the south. Here it will become it law, it is already south, therefore, the other end H will become north. So they attract together. So they attract together. Right? So this is what happening when you bring down a magnet. This is multiple. 
if you break down this into multiple pieces, this is what happened. So this shows, so what's moving on, what is acting there. Actually, this magnet, when magnet is broken down, so this is the individual. Individually, magnet has a one south and one north. But when it broken down, it shows the other south and north poles. That is what happening, right? Okay. So I need to ask one more question. What if you make uh, two magnets closer to each other? Which poles will attract? Which poles will detract? Which, which will like uh, pull and which will push? Which will attract and which will throw it away or which will forcefully move it away? Yes? Another question. Sorry, sir, I didn't get to you. Okay. Let's say two magnets. Let's say you are taking two magnets, two bar magnets. Bar magnets, they got gunna gil hita. Okay. So then you are making these bar magnets closer. You try to join the south pole and north pole of the other and south north pole and south pole of the other. So likewise, you try to uh, close, um, make them closer, make this, uh, like make this uh, poles closer. So I'm asking which poles will attract, which poles will not attract? North and south. Will attract north and north will contact. Yeah, north and south will attract, north and north will contact. Then what about south and uh, sorry, south and south? Can't attract. Yeah, so that also so that we say similar poles will not attract. So different poles will attract. So that is another property of magnet. When magnet is broken down into two pieces. So I please note that there will be new poles appearing. So currently it has only two, two poles, north and south, but when you break it down to two, there will be new north and south pole introduced. Right? So to identify the poles, if it is like there are some magnets where the, uh, basically the poles are not identified, you can create a compass-like thing. Actually, you can use a string or thread and hang this magnet freely. And maybe you can rotate it and after balancing, rotate it and let it settle. Let it be stable. Right? When it is still, you can see magnet shows, right? So there is a north and there is a south in the earth. We have north side, south side. So you can just use a compass to find the sides. Compass is there in... Uh, so compass is there in your mobile phone too. If you are using a smart mobile, now compasses are there in smart mobiles. Anyway, you have to make keep it steady until it is still. And then you can see, so it is directing towards south and north poles. So that is how we see, that is how we identify north pole and south pole. Let me show a small animation then you will get and you will get a better idea right you can do the same experiment using water how you can use the same experiment using water how can we do water and the magnet using thread is one method So please watch this video.
Here you can see through this, the opposite poles will attract, but the other side, so if it is not opposite, similar poles will not attract. So how can we mark the two poles? So we have to keep this compass to find the direction. And after that, you can do this experiment. Right, so there is explanation why this is happening. Because Earth is also having a North Pole and South Pole. Earth is also like a magnet. It's also like a magnet. This is called geomagnetism. Geomagnetism here. So that is called geomagnetism. It's like a magnet. It is basically tilting in the angled axis. So what will happen when you keep a magnet. So this geomagnet will, so the magnet will align according to the geomagnet. So what is this geomagnet? So let me see. And has a south and north. So this is another argument, right? So when, if it is like North Pole and South Pole, so you know, we learn, just now we learn about the similar poles will not attract, right? The different poles, the North Pole will attract to the South, South will attract to the North. Then, so what about this? If Earth is a geomagnet, if Earth is a large magnet, right? If Earth is such a large magnet, how this attraction happen? Yes. So why the north attract? So so if you point this uh, magnet, so just think Earth as a magnet. If you just freely keep this magnet hand using a thread, so north will attract to the south, and south will attract to north. So that is the experiment. That is the expectation. But actually, what will happen? So, south pole of a freely suspended weight confused. Let us clear our confusion first. Till now, we were talking about the geographical north and south poles of the earth. The magnetic south and north poles of the earth are situated differently. Right. So, this is the answer. So, don't just judge this by because this is actually the magnetic north and Magnetic south is other way. The geographical north is this. Samana api uttara drave kene me petta. Dakshina drave kene palla hame. Api medden in samaki. So the magnetic. Uh, so in Earth we consider the North Pole as here and the South Pole like this. But if Earth is a magnet, Earth is a large magnet like this. Earth has south to this and north to this. So, Earth take a Earth, Apigata, magnet take a creator, a magnet take a south pin, a geographical north pole like a pattern. It's a uh, magnet take a north pin, a geographical south pole like a pattern. Eka hinda, on a prashna is a name, on a hinda magnet take a tip of Mogadavin. 
So if you keep a magnet, what will be so like, like okay, let's say let's make a magnet stable. So let's think this is let's think this is the stable magnet. So this is the stable magnet. And it is key, keep we let's keep this magnet steady using a thread. Hang in. Now, can you say which 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 pole is this, and which pole is this? So, if you keep this magnet freely, so what is this pole? Is it north pole or south pole? So, this is geographically. This is what the Earth is. Right, Earth Earth's north pole is this. Earth north is this. South is this. But Earth's magnetic south is here. And magnetic north is here. So then you are trying to hang a magnet freely and let it be stable. And you are now going to mark the poles. So can you tell me which pole this is? Is this a north pole or south pole? Are you clear with my question? The earth can geomagnet magnetic field geomagnet Earth will be north ke lake ne udata, south ke ne pal lehda pe magnet ka ke jira gatto magnetic south ke ne udar, magnetic north ke ne yada. Right? Mata kya na mande me mat khand ma chumba kya ke lalo dipo. If I make this table, so what will be this pole and what will be this pole? Tell about this. Is it north or south? Is it north or south? A simple answer. Is it north or south? Side? South. South. Are you sure? But south and south will? Bani magnet take a credit and magnet take a credit of methanati in the south. In a method of south people, they have a magnetic character. South and south will not attract. Therefore, this is not south, this is north, right? So you have to identify this as no, this is not south. And this will be north. Because sorry, this will be south. Because south will attract to the north, and north will attract to the south. This is the situation, right? Remember, otherwise you will confuse. It is not the geographical north and geographical south. It is the magnetic south and the magnetic north. So the magnet is attracting according to the magnetic south and magnetic north, not according to the geographical south and geographical north. So magnetic south is in the upper, magnetic north is here. That is other way, right? The magnetic north pole of the earth is actually the geographical south pole. Okay, so shall we write this not geomagnetism? Our planet Earth is also acting like a large magnet with a magnetic field. Earth has geographical north and south. But when we consider about the magnetic field, we can come to the following 
we can come to the following conclusion. Geographical north is equal to magnetic south and the other way magnetic sorry geographical south is equal to magnetic north. Right, uh, then, Ah, magnet in dust, yes, magnets in dust also. Different places you can even the so fish tank cleaning equipments. Have you seen the magnet? So, because the wall cleaning in the fish tank uh, cannot be done uh, because it's like uh, the moving the file clip in that glass of water here. Uh, fish tank uh, cleaning using magnet. Here you can see, so this actually here, this is called a magnetic brush, right? Fish tank, especially this magnetic brush is used. The reason is, so you cannot put your hand into the fish tank and start cleaning when fishes are there, especially. You can put your hand uh, into this and start cleaning. Therefore, this magnetic brush is really useful. So this will attract the magnetic element other side. So, at the same time, the outside and inside both will be clean. So, it will be easy, right? At the same time, both outside and inside will be clean. Understood the logic behind this? Especially, this is used in the fish tank cleaning. Therefore, for dusters also, you can use something like this. This is another, a popular way of cleaning fish tanks. Okay, <coughs> let's go back. Now uh, we know how to identify the North Pole and South Pole of a magnet. A given magnet, we can identify North Pole, South Pole easily. So by hanging this using a string or hanging this using a thread, right? But you have to keep it stable. Then due to this Earth's North Pole, magnetic north and magnetic south pole. This will be directed to the uh, north and south uh, of north side and south side of. But mm, there is a small different, small different of that poles as well. Actual north and actual south, there is a special difference. So there is a small difference too. 
So what is that? That is happening because of this tilting. You know, this is earth is tilted, no? Earth is tilted. Therefore, if you try to find the actual north and actual south using a magnet, considering that the magnetic south is here and the magnetic north is here, this will align. But due to this tilting, you will not be able to measure that exactly because that has an angle that earth may have a kelin tip but a hurry kelin kura kagabu bole aqua gene when you put the earth in the name kelin name it in yeah product on shaka visituna hamaraka alayaki katamati there's a tilt because of the tilt in the hurry at a map it through the kuna me magnet take a king mark karla hagan and the chuta kapi hoi negadadi podi venasa and shaka gana venasa at the three at the community right that also you need to understand, but here it is not much needed. You just want to identify the geomagnetism in the earth and geographical uh, north is actually the magnetic south and geographical uh, south is actually the magnetic north. Therefore, the magnet direct this way. Magnet direct north and show in the... So, when we calculate in a magnet, take a south north in the... Alien in a magnet, take a north south in the line in Therefore, thereby actually showing uh, the geographical, uh, sorry, geographical north and south. That is why we, once we made a compass, through the compass, you can find the north and south. In the map, may north take a north kill again. May north take a third time, make a geographical north. So this north shown by the magnet is the geographical north of the earth. This south shown by the magnet is the geographical south of the earth. But actually speaking, inside this, you have a magnet which is uh, in the other side, okay? I hope this is clear to you now. <coughs> okay, this is another set. Another way I said that another met method is there to identify a magnet. You can use a foam board or a G form, or um, uh, not just that, you can use a small lid, like, uh, you know, the wooden lid, Anyway, a floating board. You can keep the magnet, otherwise, what will happen? Magnet will suck. Then you can move this here and there and let it be stable. Since this is aluminium, don't worry, this will not attract to the aluminium uh, aluminium container. Aluminium will attract to any magnet. So it will not attract to the aluminium content. So you have to keep these magnets and you can see after some time, the magnet will be directed to the north and south, similar to what we have done using the thread. Similar to what you have done using the thread, this magnet will be directed to the north and south side of the magnet. So that is the, uh, that is how you can find the north south poles using this. Clear on this or any doubts? Hello? No doubts. Okay. Let me reconnect back to the fiber connection. So now what we have discussed in here, actually we were discussing how to make it stable in water environment using a rigid form of foam board or using a wooden lid. So you can make it stable and find the north and south. That is the second method of identifying. And actually, so these pilots, sailors, explorers, solids, all this, these people used to find direction using a compass. The compass is also created using a magnetized strip of, maybe this can be iron or this can be steel. You can just magnetize it and keep it. Uh, and then you can use this to find the direction, the compass. So it also shows the North Pole and the South Pole, right? Okay, so we have learned about this interaction between the poles of the magnet. We learned the South and South will not attract. 
Similarly, north and north will not attract, but south and north will attract, and north and south will attract. The different edges, different poles. <coughs> Here, the north pole of B towards north pole of A. So, north to north, it is not attracting, it's pulling out. North to south will attract. South to south, again, will pull out. But north to south or south to north will attract. The so same poles do not get attracted, but the repelled or the different poles get attracted. So that is the rule of the poles. Right? We just learn about that as well. And okay, you can try with the different objects. So this is with the different poles now. But if you try with the different objects like iron nail, a pencil, nothing will happen, small bar magnet. So what are the observation? So iron nail will attract to North Pole and South Pole both. That is the observation. What about pencil? Will it attract to North Pole or will it attract to South Pole or will it remain as it is? It will remain as it is. Yes, it will remain as it is. So why it is remaining as, as it is? The reason why it will remain as it is. Yes? What's the reason? Hello? It is not having magnetic. So we call it's not a magnetic element, right? So it's not having, but we can tell it's not a magnetic element. Since it is not a magnetic element, put a magnetic element, it will not neither attract or neither pull out. So small bar magnet. Small bar magnet, if you move that near to the North Pole, move that near to the South Pole, what are the observations? It will attract. So it will attract for sure. Or it depends on the side, right? Right, if North Pole is closer to the North, you have to write in the condition. Small bar magnet, if the North Pole is closer to the North Pole, it will not attract, it will pull out. But if South Pole is uh, again uh, touched with the North Pole attract, otherwise, again, it will, if it is South Pole, so depend on the side, right? Depends on the side. Okay, you can see this. So this is the result of the, this is the observation of this. So you can see the nail is attracted to both sides. Here pencil, neither it will attract, neither it retract. So it is not no attraction or no repulsion, nothing is there. So here it depends. When move the North Pole, it repels when it is moved towards the south pole, it will get attracted. So there is the bar magnet. So the detraction, you can say repulsion also. Okay, these are the points. Okay, uh, I think side is missing again. Anyway, so with the time, I think uh, we have discussed up to here. Magnetic forces and the magnetic field. And demonstration of this, I'll be doing that next day, right? Because like it is, yes. Okay, I'll be covering that next day, Kute. But that is very small part. I was thinking like whether we can finish this today. But anyway, so since the time is up, let's do it next day. Then good night. See you next day. Good night, sir. Thank you, sir.